And I am going to ask each of you a question. But the times are going to change. So now you only have a minute and a half when you're asked a question. Those that are going to rebut only have one minute. And I'm going to ask you to watch the timer right in front of you because uh, it's going to be cutting your time in half. First question, Frank Amaro. <laughs> You ready? I'm ready. He's in the jump seat. He's all set. <laughs> How do you intend to lead as governor and encourage the New Hampshire legislature to work for the people of the state and not for the special interests? Simple answer. Put in people. That's your job. Put in people that are not going to tell you what you're going to do. They're going to do what you want them to do. That's the answer. When you put the right people in office and the governor, whoever he or she is, can get things done. What I would do as a governor with that legislature, even if it was opposing, is sit down and start talking to them and let them know in black and white, this is what the people of this state want. And this is what we need to do. If not, I'm not going to take photos of the fourth graders, so I got a picture on every child's refrigerator. <laughs> I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. I'll sit down and I'll talk. We'll get it done. If they want to talk, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I think there is a call coming in from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> well, I guess uh, I'm, it's not really a rebuttal. I just want to point out my dad, Bobby Stevens. My dad's a Democrat, I'm not going to hold that against him. <laughs> He's a great man. Um, but when my dad was in the restaurant business, they jumped the rooms and meals tax up, and I never forgot that. And he was so upset, he decided he was going to run for state senate, and he ran against someone who'd been there for 24 years, never lost an election. He said, son, come on with me, we knocked on every door, and he won. He won. And he went up there, he was always against the sales and income tax. And when his Democratic folks said, you know, we're going to stay this way and don't vote for John Sununu's budget. He was the vote that gave John Sununu the budget. He used to say a politician thinks of the next election and a statesman thinks of the next generation. Yeah. You know what? That's what we're going to do in pocket. It's not going to, it's going to be everyone working together. Because we need to cut spending, cut taxes, and we need to issue. Okay, thank you very much, Jack. I was just reminded here by John that uh, when you hear the answer that Frank gave, you are then to agree or disagree with it. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, that's a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, you know, part of what Frank said is absolutely correct. I mean, you have to vote the right people into office. That's critical, and that is your job. But we have a new crop of folks running for office, and I think, quite frankly, I've met a lot of the best crop of folks I've seen in the state of New Hampshire since I have been here. So we'll have a good core nucleus of new people who are like thinkers, uh, similar to a lot of us standing up, uh, sitting or standing up here in the states today. But the key thing, it really is leadership. I mean, you have to work with the executive council. You got to work with the, you know, with different uh, uh, department heads as well as the legislature. And quite frankly, my attitude is always look. Put them together, be persuasive, be a leader, but at the end of the day, do not ever collapse on your principles. You make sure that you always stand strong. And I said before, I don't want to reach across the aisle, I'm willing to open the door. We got a big tent, but you gotta walk over. It. If you agree that you want to jump on board, reduce the size and scope of government, Reduce taxation, get fiscally responsible, you're welcome. Come and help us out. If you don't, don't need you. We'll do it. We'll get it done ourselves. We'll do what's right for us. Thank you, Jack Aaron. Oh, what's the question? <laughs> How do you intend to lead as governor and encourage the New Hampshire legislature to work for the people of the state and not for the special interests? Now, you heard his answer. Yes. No, maybe your own spin. He's absolutely right. Uh -huh. well, they thought we were being attacked.